Hi guys and welcome to a new video, hope you're all doing well. Today is the day 15 of these daily festive uploads and we are getting very festive today as I'm going to be doing some baking. I'm going to be baking these festive snowman biscuits, so they're like shortbread biscuits. They should look something like this. I have cheated and brought a little kit just because I thought they looked fun. Um, and I also brought a gingerbread kit which we also for another video soon. So yeah, I really like shortbreads and I've never actually ever baked biscuits so this could be interesting. It is, like I said, a kit, so it comes with um, flour, icing sugar, and some icing pens, and some stencils, which really are just little bits of cardboard cut out. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I realise I don't have a rolling pin either, so we're going to have to be creative with that. So I've already set everything up. Although I'm using a kit, there is still some preparation that you need to do. So I've got my oven preheated to 200 degrees or 180 if it's a pan oven. And I have got a bowl out. I've got my baking tray lined with um, proof proof paper. And I have measured my butter because you're going to need 60 grams of unsalted butter for this. And you will also be needing 15 millilitres of water for the icing sugar. One thing I've already done is obviously cut out the stencils. Um, I've got everything laid out. I've got a knife ready. I've got an icing bag ready because you're going to need it to do the icing um, at the end. I mean, unless you just want to spoon it on, you can do that. Also, I'm wearing my festive top today. Just, I didn't want to wear a fe I didn't want to wear a Christmas jumper because I knew I was going to get too hot. Um, and obviously, I've got my Jess personalised apron that my mum got me for Easter. Actually, she got me as a little Easter present when I first moved in. First thing you need to do is to mix the flour mixture in with the butter and you're literally going to pour it in and then you're going to mix it with your hands so make sure you wash your hands nice and clean. So once you end up with a little ball like this you're going to then want to flatten it out so using a little bit of flour um, on whatever surface you're doing. Now, I haven't got a rolling pin so I'm going to try and flatten it out on my hand as much as possible. So you get these like stencils that's meant to be like a body and a face cut out and then you'd be able to cut out around them but what I'm going to do, um, if you've got cookie cutters it'll work quite well but I've got these like um, measuring cups so I'm going to use these and you're meant to be able to do six so we'll see how we get on. I've just gone over a couple of them um, with the spare dough and made a couple of them thicker and bigger um, but these are the finer ones, we've got six big and six small they go in the oven for about 12 minutes so whilst they're in the oven for 12 minutes that gives you enough time to tidy everything up and start prepping the icing ta da! shortbreads obviously they just look really boring at the moment so we need to make the icing so to make the icing the first thing you're going to do is put the icing mix in the bowl and you're going to be needing about 15 millilitres of water but you're going to be adding a little bit at a time so you, I've just got these little measuring spoons obviously that are very helpful so I'll just put a bit of that in using a whisk just to start to mix that in before obviously so that's the icing made now it does say to use a piping nozzle I don't really see the point because you're not making patterns or anything. You can just put this on the spoon. I'm sure that's what you would do if you were doing this with kids. So we just need to wait for these to cool down enough to ice them. You can obviously put them in the fridge to cool them down quicker if you want to do it quickly or like, you know, you just haven't got the patience. But I'm going to just go and watch some TikToks for a bit and wait for them to cool down, come back and ice them. Right, so a little while later and the shortbreads are cool and ready to decorate. So we've got some big ones. <laughs> I can't lie, that was a bit too thin. So if you make these, just be careful. But if you take a little bit and then... Right, you're gonna have to get your hands messy, right, no matter how, what you do. Um, because these need to get stuck on top like this. Then you want to like decorate them, which you can tell I've not done the right sizes because some of them are going to be a little bit hard. Um, I don't know how this is going to work. I have to 
say I haven't done a very good job, have I? Um, look at these, right? Look at those. It works though. I don't mind. I bet they still taste nice. Um, I don't know what to do now because they're a bit messy. These are the finished product. <laughs> and we're going to put them in the fridge set. So there we have it. That is <laughs> a terrible um, version of those shortbread biscuits. They still look like they taste going to taste nice, so I don't mind. It's definitely one of those things that you're meant to do with your kids and just mess about. Um, I've, like I said, I've never baked biscuits before, and I didn't have a rolling pin, so that was a bad start. So if I was if I was to do that again, I would make the shortbreads thicker. I'd probably make less of them, make the actual base thicker, and then when it came to icing them, I don't know, the icing bit's a bit hard because it's messy. Maybe I'll try to do it in an icing bag and just make my own icing mix if I needed to. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. But otherwise, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and be back tomorrow for another video. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video because I'm uploading every day until Christmas. 